What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm chasing speckled trout down on the Pamlico and man have I got a valuable tip to share with you in this video. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up. Here we go. As you can see here it's still early in the morning and I'm working some open shoreline hitting some of my favorite points. I started out with top water but only had one blow up then I tried a few soft plastics with minimal success. Now I'm throwing a halo shrimp under a popping cork and picking off a few. I know the trout are here but I'm struggling a little bit to find the artificial bait that is going to really turn this bite on for me. That's when I remembered an old favorite you've seen me throw before, the three inch DOA cow shad. Everything loves that thing. This feels like a good, I hope this is a trout, it feels like a good one. As this video progresses towards the end, it will become crystal clear why this bait worked today and one that worked even better. It's worth sticking around for. Big male, Big male trout. I have to say that if I had other people on the boat fishing with me this morning, I probably would have already moved to another spot. Despite the hookups you've seen already, I've really only caught fish about every five to 10 casts. Not bad at all, but this time of year, everybody feels pressure to have one of those super hot bites, mainly because of social media. But since I am by myself and I feel like there's a lot of trout here, I actually enjoy the challenge of trying different baits to see how the fish will respond to each one. This cow shad is telling me something. I don't know what yet, but I know I'm on the right track. So this isn't the first time this little cow shad has saved a trip for me. Man, you can see they are just destroying this thing. And this is the fifth bait I have thrown this morning without much luck until I switch to that little bait right there. That thing can be magic sometimes. That's a nice trout. Three for three on that bait. The summer we discovered this bait, we just about threw it for six months straight. That's how good it was. And now, you know, it's kind of a go-to on tough days. It still works really good as a fish locator. I'll use it in the winter time. I use it in the spring and summer and fall. It's a small bait. It's only three inches. It doesn't even look two and a half inches. And it doesn't have a lot of that presentation type deal where you want to twitch it. But that little tail action on this thing is insane. And if you just straight reel it, through the water slow. That tail just goes crazy. It's one of the best performing swim baits that I have seen. And that color is something that they trout love. I've caught puppy drum, flounder, uh, everything loves it. What I'll do is I'll swim it real slow and periodically I'll just let it drop and hit the bottom and then I'll reel it off the bottom again. And that seems to be the best action for this bait. This is not an endorsement. I mean, I've got no affiliation with DOA Cow Shad. I'm just telling you guys that this bait, sometimes it's insane. Sometimes they cannot resist it. it it's made my morning really here. And I got a feeling I'm getting ready to catch some more trout on it before I make a move to another spot. Simple little bait. Just reel it through the water, guys it's designed to swim like crazy you don't have to reinvent the wheel just reel it through the water and they they can't resist it if there's trout in the neighborhood they're gonna eat it and this morning they're not really eating anything else so good bait That was probably the fish of the morning right there, pulled out right at the last second. So at this point, I begin to realize something interesting that's going on around me and light bulbs start going off in my head. There's glass minnows everywhere. With the wind chop on the water, I couldn't see them until the sun started to rise a little bit.
I hope that's a trout. Golly. It's a redfish. Oh, yeah. Well, like I said, everything loves that bait right there. That DOA cow shad. That's a positive sign to me right there. You know, a 18, 19 inch redfish because there's so many out there in the mid slot range right now. Uh, just a ton of 25 to 30 inch redfish being caught right now. It's good to know we've got this class of fish coming up behind them. Fights like a 25 inch trout. Can't beat that. Glass minnows are just small silver sides. So now I'm thinking the DOA cow shad kind of resembles a silver side. More like a mud minnow, which is why I've always thought it appealed to so many fish, but it definitely has some characteristics of the silver side. Now I'm seeing some actual silver sides, larger ones beside the boat. So I cast net a few. Can I actually dial this bite in even better than it already is? Are these fish so engrossed with feeding on these silver sides that all the baits I threw earlier in the morning just didn't have much appeal. And if that is the case, by replicating an actual silver side, theoretically, the bite should go white hot. And it did. When I switched to this trout trick, I definitely began hooking up about every cast. But what told me I had found the right bait was the fact that it was now getting picked up before I even had a chance to start reeling. And the intensity of the strikes increased as well. It's probably important to note that when this video was made, we were in a dark moon phase, which means decreased nighttime feeding and increased daytime feeding. These fish awoke to a buffet of silver sides, and by making some tackle adjustments, fortunately I was able to give them what they wanted, during a window when they were actually aggressively eating. These things don't always work out so well, but today it did. The takeaway and lesson from this trip would have to be don't give up on a spot until you've tried several different baits. And like I always say, if you have multiple anglers on the boat, everyone should throw a different color until you can determine which bait and color is going to produce the most hookups. More often than not, the trout will let you know what they want. And after watching your buddy outfish you three to one, you'll get the message quick. As always, thanks for watching and good luck on your next trip.